Okay, so let's get the craft room tour going. So this is it at its cleanest. Um, I think I explained that we are in the process of selling our house soon, so I had to have it staged for photographs. And so I'm standing in the doorway, and then this is kind of what it looks like, just standing in the doorway. Um, the wall collage of artwork has been there since the beginning. I acquired two desks, I always had one, and then I have increased the shelving on this side. And then there is always the day bed. It has a trundle underneath it, so um, there's two beds, twin beds. And that's my other filming light that usually sits right here on my desk. Um, I, but I just left one so that you can kind of see the window and stuff. So I do have two softbox lights that have been a game changer while filming. So as you come in on my desk, I do have two and this is usually where I film. So I have gotten um, organization bins. These are just from the kitchen section at a TJ Maxx for all of my stamps. I clearly have developed my collection rather quickly um, this year because I have fallen in love with stamping. And then these little stackable ones were from the Target dollar spot. They were actually though like three or five dollars. They were higher than a dollar, but they are just clear acrylic organizers that I use. And like, so for instance, in one of them has all like my enamel dots and sequences and little tinier stickers. This one is like fun foam and then, you know, anything to pop up dimension and then a few die cuts. I think they're like Hobby Lobby die cuts in the bottom. Doing this with one hand is hard. <laughs> here are just some like random embellishments that I eat, drop in here when there are only a few left to use. There's obviously some sequins. And then this is a lot of my current washi tape that I'm using. In this one, it's my ink. So mostly the Catherine Pooler. And then I have a few that one's scrapbook.com and then a few Allie Edwards. Then this drawer is just a catch-all. There's literally a random stuff and these are the next uh, books I have to scrap and pictures that I didn't use. So this one's just the random catch-all. And this one's just filled with die cuts and my new filming camera that I haven't actually used yet. I did get it for Christmas, um, but I haven't actually used it. I still just film on my iPhone Max Pro. Yeah, yeah I have the 12 the 12 Pro. And then on this side, if you've seen my Instagram, I my dad made this whole thing. He is good with wood, but I got the inspiration from another crafter on here. Um, forgot her name, uh, but I remember asking her where did she get like her colossal like Project Life card holder, and she told me her husband made it, and so I just commissioned my dad, who was just as handy in the with wood. So don't get me wrong, if I, my collection is extensive, but I only like my cards that have the 90 degree angles, not the rounded ones. So this is kind of the current collection because all my other boxes are all of old Project Life cards that have the rounded corners that I truly just don't use. And honestly, on this move, I may eventually just donate them to a school or donate them period because I just really don't tend to use them and I don't wanna pack them up for the new house. Um, so then I keep a lot of my pens and then like other tools. So there's like my um, tag maker that is the disbound punch, um, some other stamps. There are the alcohol felt like um, covers to play with alcohol inks. You can see post-it notes, white out, um, my date stamp, glue pens. So just different things. Little These are little alpha stamps that I keep in one section. And so then this little corner here, these are all just scraps. So these are just the bits and pieces after I've cut into them. These are like my um, new Heidi Swap chapters. Then my traveler's notebooks that are half in use are there. Here are where my current projects sit. So you've seen these inserts a lot that I work on. There's some stickers and alcohol paper. And then these are full new 12 by 12 oh, except for that i think i just got it i want to still cut those out these are full 12 by 12 papers there and so that sits on the other desk so usually this i don't film in front of because you can see that it shortens my desk filming spot where this one is still a little bit wider so that's why i film here and then i just kind of take out my albums and work on project life while sitting there there is my new microphone for voiceovers that i love and just on the floor there are just like um paintbrush and other utensil holders. And then I have some of my happy planner sticker boxes just sitting on the floor, unfortunately. 
you know, I don't have enough room all the time for everything. So then let me see if I can pan out. On this wall towards this side, I have a shelf and, cause I used to do LuLaRoe, so all the holes have been patched up now. So my LuLaRoe clothes used to sit here when I was a consultant. Um, so now I just left one rack and then these are just all of art supplies and fun things I do with Valentina. So everything from her finger paints to crafty projects to, um, what else do I have? Like just construction paper are all in there just kind of nice and neat without seeing all the mess because it used to be just a mess. And I got these bins too at Target. I think these are like $8. Um, and then I just have some like Halloween costume I don't want smashed. So there's like a mask there and like Miguel's Olaf hat that you wear when we go do Disney things. Sit there and like, so projects like this. So she just finished making these. Those are from Michael's. So that's what's in these bins. Just like craft supplies that we get to pick through. Um, my Razcog cart holds my mixed media stuff. So, and other things. So there's like rolls of vinyl to cut. Um, there's like my jelly plates in there. <laughs> this one's just shoved. <laughs> These have all of my delusion sprays and paints, pens, and then other current um, traveler's notebooks. This is like my adult coloring markers. That's more vinyl to cut stickers. And then this is all of my extra tape. So adhesive darker sided, tacky glue, collage glue, fabric glue. I'll sit there. This is from my sewing machine. And then my thicker collection, I have downsized it. And then this is a punch for my disc. This one is a totally Tiffany organizer. So I had this one. Clearly I clear, uh, uh, filled it quick. That's why my dad made me that one. So if I could have had like four of these together, it would make the one my dad made. <laughs> then these are the cubes from Michael's. I've had them since the beginning of my crafting journey. So down there is also 12 by 12 papers. And then these drawers are filled with randomness and honestly I pitched a lot of what was in them and some of it I saved for Valentina so even this drawer though it's just like electronics so every kind of power cord and charging thing is in there just yeah see spray glue it's random so these drawers this paper oh all my like acetate to put into my albums tags some clear headbands so yeah some mixed media books I haven't used. These are a lot of transparencies and laminating folders and then some cheapo uh, frames. Yeah, so randomness, some fabric flowers. This is a stamp binder ring, some pom-poms. And then these are die cuts. I remember doing a layout that I haven't quite done that I cut all those out sitting in a dish. <laughs> and then, yep, and these are all like my mini albums I haven't used. So they're a lot of four by four. Five by five. Yeah, these are just like individual mini albums that I haven't even used yet. And that's in those drawers. Then here are my two stacked calyxes. So they were the eight cubed ones. Um, and then you see them sitting together right there. So on the top, it's my new laser printer, my new Cameo 4 uh, cutting machine, and my Epson Picture Mate sit on top. This sits like paper and ink for my Epson Picture Mate. This is not in use, and this is my 40th iMix book that I still haven't done a flip through of, but I definitely should probably film that after it since my room is so immaculately cleaned. This one sits um, old cards that me and my sister write. It's like, so it's a sentimental box. So there's old pictures, stationery in there. Then these are just my planners. I think this is just paper. This was last uh, year's book. And then this one, oh, that's my current one that I take out inserts from. This is my my photo memory journal, is it called? You know, the one that just has all the fun paper to the scrapbooking one that makes it easier. And then this is just a current horizontal format for my big. This is filled with die cuts that I haven't used yet. Honestly, it's just sitting there. Let's see if I can peek in there without messing everything up. It's just die cut packs from other brands. A new six by eight. This is my one little word album, and I just ordered these citrus twist, um, which are like the traveler's notebook size, so those are new to work with. Here are just other books. <laughs> this one's an eight by eight album that I just stick pictures in when I blow them up. My mixed media journals, these are both I cut pictures out of these, are just big picture uh, photograph um, books that I've purchased. 
planners I haven't used. That's old last year's passion planner, that sticker book. And then these are all my albums. They speak for themselves. Those are all 12 by 12, except for that gold one. That's a nine by 12. I tried it that year. It wasn't for me. And then these are like this current ones. And then here's are my adult coloring books. They're both Disney, the villains and the animals. Um, page protectors. Here are just two sections of paper pads from box stores. Yeah, usually. So Michael's and Joanne's. And then these are all of my stencils on this side. And then like white basil, white cardstock to do my layouts. My mini albums that are Travel and December Daily. And it's double road because 6x8 can fit two in here. Above here are just more stencils. Paper from Printwork Studios. I used to be on their design team. My two completed baby books. Another art journal. 8x10 printer paper, photo paper. And then that folder with the stripes has a lot of like magazine clip art and stuff. This used to be like my only happy planner sticker thing, but now it doesn't have really any of them and it holds any other stickers that I buy from Michael's or Joanne's and stuff. Just some learning binders for Valentina. And then these are the boxes I was talking about that have like old project life cards in them. They are just all the rounded corners. So those are some of them. And then here are just like, other creative books, adult coloring books, um, some of the books I've bought from other artists, a completed art journal sits there, some covers to Happy Planners, that's all there. And then this one as well, or just a bunch of mini albums. So December Daily, One Week in the Life, and then this is the eight by 10 that I'm working on currently that you see on my channel. And then that's all just filler paper for my Happy Planners. And then a stack of books <laughs> over there that I haven't read yet. Okay, and then let me see. Usually in these drawers too, in case you're curious, these are a mess. I am a messy crafter. They're not organized, but they have sort of a rhythm. So these again are once die cuts and adhesive rolls sit on top because this is what I always go for. So they're just random bits of die cuts. So some of them are completed sets. This one's mostly all florals. So it's probably like a lot of Maggie Holmes, Paige Evans. And then this one usually is like phrases but you can see that there's just current stuff. So anytime I need a little something, something, I kind of go through this drawer and there's a ruler. This one is my Distress Oxide ink collection all along there. And a few other random ones. My watercolor palettes and my stamping blocks. And then it's just all my punches. So that one's kind of organized. This one is just another stamping one. So all different kind of inks here. These are like em those Nuvo dots and embossing powders or embossing liquids. And then these are all embossing powders, usually a glue stick. And then to catch all of the embossing powder. This is just a drawer of paints. I do have them finally color coded on top. So these are just the plates. And Valentina uses them too. So these are just the inexpensive like Apple Barrel or Craft Smarts, the ones that are like 50 cents at Walmart. So that's all of those. It's a very used drawer. And this one is just a catch all of randomness. So there's my glue gun, here's some chipboard, here's some other paints, alcohol inks, glue sticks, page protectors, ribbon, messy, I told you they were messy. Um, there's some markers, you can see some mists. Here's a wood veneer, I rarely use it so this one doesn't get pulled out a lot. Just old stamps, a brayer. This one, the bottom drawers are very used. Another catch-all, so cutting knife for my machine, discs, expander discs for my planners. This is that tissue paper from Tim Holtz. This is, I know these are like my acrylographs from Archer and Olive. I can't do it one-handed. You know, brushes, there's wax paper, more brushes. These are like the Jane Davenport ones. So this is like probably like just extra random mixed media things and tools. Here's my drawer of mists and my completed traveler's notebooks kind of found a home there. And these are all the brands. So Lindy Stamp Gang, there's um, Shimmers, Dilusions. These are all of my Heidi Swap mini ones. So that's all mists. These are all my glitters. Man, my favorite technique back in the day was like gel ink through a stencil and then glitter. So these are all just from Michaels. This packaging is Michaels, their recollections glitter. 
Love it. Then I have brushes, extra Sharpies, ink, stress crayons. Here are all of my like creamies and ink. What are all of these inklings? Sugar products. <laughs> A palette of gold um, watercolors. Some more markers. These are fun. If you've ever played with color bursts, these are like pigments, and then you add water, and the water goes, the color goes crazy on the page. And then last up here are more stencils. My Mega Date stamp. These are all just my smaller stencils that fit in a drawer. Let's see, here I was doing LuLaRoe. <laughs> and yeah, so these are mostly stencils. And then this is just random, it's like a sharpener, a button, something for my silhouette, papers, a free month of, of, of silhouette, you know, cut files. So yeah, these are randomness. <laughs> all right, and then I my I do have the natural light from my neighborhood. I have two little plants. My plant collection is getting extensive, so these are two that have migrated up here because they're tiny. And so, yeah, everyone, that is my craft room. And like I've said, I am in the process of moving, but it won't be till July. So all of this will stay the same, but probably just be a different configuration in my new space in the house which I'm excited for. Not that I get like a bigger room. It's probably a same standard, like whatever. This is like 11 by 11 or something. But this is how I produce my crafty content for you and scrap all my memories and have all my albums. So these are the most, and that's the thing. So I will have a series coming soon once I probably move because that's too much to take on right now. So I've been doing Project Life since 2015 officially. But my mom had recently found a box when they moved of all of my high school scrapbooks and some of them like the adhesive is coming off so they have to be restored so i'm going to have a series soon of restoring high school scrapbooks so my high school was from the 90s <laughs> i've been doing it for a while just took a break during college and now i am obsessed with our hobby yeah all right so if you have any questions please leave them down below um till next time if you've enjoyed this please subscribe my name is ty and I'd love to have you part of my little scrappy corner of the internet. Bye, everyone.